Once we have the manual reports, we're now going to use Miob's built-in BAS link. We go to the Accounts Command Center and click BAS link. Uh, if we were reporting quarterly, we'd choose you know, the, the end of the relevant quarter. Today we're running the BAS for the month of July only. Before I click Prepare, I'm going to click BAS Info and change the reporting frequency as per your business. Also, we're going to run it accruals today instead of cash. And we're going to use what's called accounts method as we're only filling out boxes G1, 2, 3, 10 and 11. If you were to claim a rebate for fuel tax credits by ticking that, we'll give you an extra box. Uh, company tax instalments, only done quarterly, so the July one, it, it won't appear. So we'll ignore that. And payroll, we're covering that in a different module as well. Finally, if you have fringe benefits tax that you have to pay, uh, wine equalisation tax or luxury car tax obligations, you could tick those and put in the relevant amount. We're going to leave that untick. So all we've done is we've said that we're reporting monthly on accruals and we're using the accounts method. I'll click OK and click prepare statement. Once we get through to our BASLINK window, you may be prompted along the way. Uh, usually I'll answer no to those questions. We can see here we have our blank GST worksheet. We're going to start with G1 and hit set up. Now at G1 we want to show our GST, which is our sales. We go at G1, 22388850. Our export sales if we have them. And they also go at G2. So exports go at G1 and G2. Note today though we didn't have any and our GST free sales if applicable and we'll put those at G3, other GST free sales. Finally, input tax sales and we'll show that at G4. I click OK and we can see it's now filled out G1 and G234 is zero in this example. I'll scroll down now to my purchases side, starting with my capital purchases at G10. And here we had our capital acquisitions for the office furniture, $2,200. Click OK. Set up at G11, we have our GST purchases. We have our GST free purchases. Now they also go at G14. And click OK. So that's the front sheet, G1, 2, 3, 10, 11. Next, um, we'll go to the front sheet tab where we can actually preview that G1 through to 11. We don't have any installments on this monthly BAS. We'll go to the back sheet and here we can see the net 1A GST collected and GST paid. And if you remember earlier, that matches our manual report to give us a check that we owe the ATO of 1463. Now, we can't lodge it from within this my BAS link. We can print it out though. And we also do need to click transaction and it will give us a preview of the check. Again, it's detecting errors. If we wanted to view those, we could click yes. And the, this error list here, like the withholding number, document ID number, we can ignore. So I'm going to hit close, click transaction again and say no. Now we have a spend money window and we can see here the amount for the check. If needed, I'll scroll down. There we go. We could print that out and that would be the check that we'd be recording to pay the ATO. And we're gonna do that next. So we'll close that window. We'll cancel back to Myob. And now we're going to record that check. So we go into banking, spend money, and we'd put in the date. Now obviously if we we're lodging for July, that date would be in August some stage. So 08, 08, 16, we'd be paying the ATO. And here we put in those GST collected and paid amounts. So we had 2,035. Now I'm gonna drop the cents. And the GST paid, we had an amount of 572. Now note, that's entered as a negative amount. Okay, to give us the net check of 1463 that we, in this case, we're writing a check out. We might be electronically paying it, be paying it to the ATO and record that check. 